I'm Gary Honey with Distech Integration. Uh, we're a, about a hundred employee company. We've been in business since 1992 and we're introducing our uh, Vertec Isobus software library here at the show this year. Um, Isobus really is, is something that's uh, been growing in North America. It's been big in Europe and it offers an opportunity for uh, various implements and uh, tractors from different manufacturers to communicate with each other um, for control and display of information. Um, it's been uh, something that the large tractor and implement manufacturers have put together, but it's been something that, um, you know, with our clients we've seen has been a little bit difficult for some of the smaller companies to make the investment to get an implement uh, compatible with the ISOBUS. So, We've uh, put together this Vertec product, which is a, a software library that we can integrate into the controller in an implement, and that lets the implement communicate with the ISO bus. We've taken the time to understand the um, ISO 11783 standards and get all that together. That lets the implement manufacturer, whether they're making a planter or a sprayer, concentrate on the function of that machine, making it do its function better for their customers, and we do the hard part of the ISO bus and their engineers don't have to focus on that. They can concentrate on what makes their machine you know, more competitive in the marketplace. Um, but it also gets it on the ISO bus and we've talked to a lot of people that you know they have six monitors in their cab because they have six different implements and they all need to be controlled differently. So with the you know the virtual terminal that all the big OEMs have in their cab already and that are available from a lot of different manufacturers as a third party add-on, um, you can just plug that implement in to a standard connector on the back of the tractor and its display shows up on the monitor and you know the farmer is able to you know, do his control and see the information from that implement without an additional piece of equipment mounted in his cab. Well, the ISO, you know, puts out a, a, a very large standard and actually frequently changes it. So it takes a lot of engineering effort to keep up with that and understand it. And, you know, that being part of our core business, we do that. We have actually engineers that um, are part of the ISO committees that are, you know, doing the revisions and things like that. So, you know, the, the challenge is just keeping up with that. Being at that low level of the, the bits coming across the wire and translating those into information that the tractor or the implement needs. Well, you know, with the customers, it's it's listening to the to the you know the farmers and hearing you know, hey, we don't want all this extra equipment in our cab, and then you know, getting that information back to the OEMs, you know, whose equipment that they're selling, and you know, those OEMs are going to be the ones that drive the integration. They're the ones that that go back to ISO and say, hey, we need this to make everything more compatible. So. Just passing that information back up from the farmers to the OEMs, I think, is, is really big for the dealers because getting that feedback back is what's going to drive the OEMs to say, hey, we've got to get this implemented into our equipment.